Well, good morning, everyone. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Let's go do a fun vlog today. We're actually gonna go start it at a place that we've already been to in Palm Springs before. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, that's right. We're back at the Elvis house, the honeymoon hideaway house. And this is actually where I came up with the idea for today's vlog. When I took this tour, the guy made a comment when he was telling the story about um, Elvis and Priscilla having to sneak out the back way. I'm gonna actually take you guys back there and show you, but he made a comment about who the neighbor um, to the property was and I started looking into it and I said that would be a great vlog. So let's go around back to the very back of this house and an empty lot that has been empty there since this house was created. So to get over to the back part of the property, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna make a right on this little street. And then we're gonna make another right over here on Rose. And then we're gonna drive up here a little ways and find the only empty lot in this whole row of houses. Here it is. So let's hop out and talk. So the house that you just saw was um, originally called the Alexander Estate. And the Alexanders were um, a family that uh, built 22,000 homes in Palm Springs. They were one of the main manufacturers of the homes in Palm Springs. And that house originally wasn't meant to be their house. It was meant to be um, a display model and his wife loved it so much that she wanted to live in it so they did and so all the furniture in there if you saw my Elvis vlog um, was the original furniture because it was all built into the house and so what ended up happening was the um, the two Alexanders um, perished on a flight and that made their daughter an orphan and so um, when she got the estate of the family, she also got the house but couldn't live here. And so that's when the house became available for lease. Now, Colonel Parker lived in this area and thought that that would be a good house for Elvis to live in. And so Elvis leased it um, through 66 and 67. So it was known as the Elvis Hideaway House. And because Elvis was gonna have his wedding here in Palm Springs. But when Rona Barrett, who was also his neighbor, found out about it, she blabbed it and they changed the plans. 3 a.m. the morning of Elvis's wedding, they came out the back of the property. The property, the house and everything is actually, if you just follow this right straight through, um, is over there. They actually came out this way because Frank Sinatra had called Elvis and had arranged to, um, have a limo waiting to take Elvis to the airport and he was gonna fly out to Vegas to get married on Frank's plane. When the guy who was giving the tour brought us out here to show us that part and we were standing over there, he said, and a few years later, guess who would be the neighbor to this empty lot? And we all said, who? And he said, Marilyn Monroe. So let's walk over and see Marilyn's house. That's really what this vlog is about. So I immediately thought, hey, let's do a Marilyn Monroe's Palm Springs house vlog. But then he said something else right after that that made this story even better. And I said, that's what we're going to vlog. So this would have been Marilyn's Palm Springs home. And she didn't own it. It was built in 1961. And 
she lived here pretty much at the end of 61 and part of 62. Now what the guy who was giving me a tour said that piqued my interest was he said, well, it's no surprise Marilyn would live over here because Peter Lawford lived within a walk away. And I'm like, oh, that's right. This is where, this area was where Marilyn supposedly had her tryst with JFK. And so this was the house that she was leasing. And I said, well, hey, let's go over and see the Peter Lawford house to see how close it really was. Because apparently there's a history there of the Rat Pack, Marilyn, JFK. They say that was the house that um, Marilyn actually officially first had her meeting with JFK. They don't think that they had um, sex there. They actually think that that happened at Bing Crosby's house, which is now in a um, gated community like a golf course. But this was the house that Marilyn was living in when she would stay in Palm Springs. No plaque or anything, but or none that I can see. Really nice property though. You gotta remember when the 50s and 60s were happening, this place was booming with celebrities. Because they could kind of somewhat hide away from paparazzi in those days. So last night I wandered over to the Peter Lawford estate just to take a look at it and I noticed there's a small plaque there. So let's go take a drive over. I'll actually show you from Marilyn's house to where Peter Lawford lived how short of a drive that was and it really probably would have been a five, six minute walk. Okay, so we're passing by the empty lot. There's Marilyn's house. We're just gonna head down here, make an easy left. Make another left. Watch for traffic, kids. Elvis's house would be right here where that car came out. Then we just make a left here. All right, no, no. Here. And you actually saw this house already and didn't notice when we were driving over. It's right here on the corner. We'll pull over and take a look. You can see that plaque right there. So what was that, about a three minute, maybe two minute drive and probably a six minute walk? Right here is where that first meeting took place. Now, I remember Shelly telling me that Marilyn called her when she was gonna meet. She said that she was gonna be going to a party or something that the president was gonna be at and didn't know what to talk to him about. And Shelly, so I just told her, you know, talk about world events, you know? Let him know you're not just some dumb blonde. So here, we have a little plaque. You almost wouldn't even see it if you weren't looking for it. Says the Lawford House. Formerly the home of Rat Pack member Peter Lawford and Patricia Kennedy, sister of President John F. Kennedy. There's our connection. That's why Peter Lawford was hosting JFK. JFK stayed in the home many times and met Marilyn Monroe here for the first time as Peter Lawford was a close friend of hers. In addition, Rat Pack members Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. were all frequent guests, as well as many other noted celebrities who came to Palm Springs for the famous Rat Pack parties that were held here. 
Now I also heard that Marilyn was either friends with Peter Lawford or his wife from when she made Let's Make Love. So that was kind of the connection there. And like I said, we can't really get into the, the community. And even if you can, I noticed online that it's just a big long gate that says the Crosby Estate. That's where they supposedly had their one fling. And from what I read online, um, Paula Strasberg said that Marilyn told her it was never, you know, anything serious and it was like never even um, trying to steal him away from Jackie or anything. It was more of like Marilyn just liked having secrets. She liked it to have, um, you know, secrets that only she knew and that was one that she wanted to have. So that was really all it was. And, you know, then there's like the rumors that she was connected to Robert F. Kennedy as well, but who knows? I just thought this would make a great vlog, seeing how close, how the Elvis, Marilyn, Rat Pack, JFK connection all happened here in 1962. Now, it was shortly after all of this that Marilyn Monroe would end up being known for um, one of those moments of singing happy birthday Mr. President. That's kind of went down in history. Whenever you hear anybody singing happy birthday, they're oftentimes mimicking her. That happened very recently after this event. And of course, sadly, Marilyn Monroe also passed away shortly after this as well as John F. Kennedy. Well, we're gonna call it a day here in Palm Springs. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, I think there was a lot of crazy connections that I just couldn't help but, you know, not want to put together for you and share with you. So I hope you all, all enjoyed getting to see it. Um, I wanted to let you know, if you don't know already, that Ja has his own channel, Days with Ja. So go subscribe to Ja. He got, what, 2,500 subscribers in his first day. Unbelievable. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great night. And from Palm Springs, goodbye.